Hi, good afternoon, and thank you for joining today's demo session on how Starship can integrate with your Fishbowl interface. Today I'm going to demonstrate how we import an LTL order uh, from Fishbowl into Starship and process your bill of lading, process a rate shop, and then send the information back into Fishbowl with the appropriate pro number along with the freight cost. This makes us very unique in this industry in which we can integrate with LTL carriers to the Fishbowl interface. So to get started, you'll log into your Starship web browser and you'll come into your home screen with all of your orders waiting to be shipped for a given uh, day, week, uh, whatever it might be. So if you have your uh, pick tickets from Fishbowl barcoded, you can easily scan those in using a wedge type scanner uh, into the field that I'm uh, currently in. Uh, you would load the uh, information in uh, from Fishbowl and you can begin processing your shipment. If you don't have your pick ticket barcoded, you can simply come all the way over here to the right, find your order you're going to uh, try to import, and simply hit the little truck icon here, or you can simply hit create shipment down below. I'm going to use our shortcut here and bring in this Fishbowl shipment. One thing that Starship offers uh, with the Fishbowl interface is it brings it in as a packed shipment uh, and not having you to worry about packing inside of the Starship interface. So here you'll notice we have a shipment ID of 68 is what I'm uh, bringing in from Fishbowl. Uh, so you'll notice here uh, my apply charges are coming in for the ship via that was selected. In this case, it was RNL Carriers as my LTL provider. Uh, it was billing my account, so therefore I'm going to show the uh, negotiated rates uh, that I have currently with RNL. Um, in here, we also have the capabilities of billing uh, to third party or collect, uh, and we would ask that you would have that account information into a custom field inside of Fishbowl, uh, so therefore we can bring that in and associate a third party ID inside of Starship to map to, uh, so therefore we don't have to worry about manually selecting this as uh, bill con consignee or uh, third party. Uh, the sender uh, will be defaulted to you unless if we, again, we are going to be billing, uh, mapping to a bill to information in Fishbowl uh, in which we're going to show maybe a drop ship scenario and having a different sender ID come in. Uh, the recipient being a bill to or the ship to information uh, coming in uh, from Fishbowl. Uh, so here we have the ship to. We also done an address validation uh, behind the scenes verifying the street address along with uh, being a commercial location over a residential location. Um, in the LTL environment, you deal with a lot of accessorials, so any one of these widgets you can drill into and you can select any of the current accessorials uh, that, you might, uh, that might be applicable to the shipment. So therefore, when we rate quote it, the uh, accurate rates can come into play. Also, one thing here you'll notice is the packaging and line item detail. So under the packaging view here, we have our one pallet with a total weight of 185 pounds with the three packages that are associated from the fishbowl shipment. Um, so if I drill into these uh, views here, uh, you can see that I have my one pallet, my three corresponding boxes, and then each box has its own item. The items themselves are designated from the uh, mappings that we have from Fishbowl. Uh, so speaking of which, we can move into our line item view here, and you'll notice that we have simply our three items, our mountain bike, our battery pack, and our performance handling bars. Uh, so here you'll notice we mapped in the unit values the, along with the item weights themselves and then totaling the total shipment weight, which is calculating the um, pallet weight that you're going to be shipping. Uh, to drill into this a little further on the item level, we store information not only from Fishbowl uh, with the item numbers and descriptions, but we also can store your NMFC codes along with class information, so therefore your shipper doesn't have to enter this information repeatedly. Uh, it's automatically saved and stored at the item level. Uh, down below, you'll see the total charges that come in for the LTL carrier. Uh, please note that we never show list rates or publish rates uh, for LTL shipments just because of the significant discounts in nature. So we'll only bring back the contracted rate along with the applied rate, which is basically your negotiated plus any sort of uh, additional handling fees, like if a percentage or a flat rate per shipment would apply, uh, that's what applied would be, and that's what we can put back into uh, Fishbowl uh, for that particular shipment. If you're curious and always want to rate shop the uh, shipment, uh, that's the last thing we can do here before we process the shipment. Uh, what you'll do is either hit shop all. Um, you can also do this behind the scenes as you import the order into Starship, uh, but this is just going to go out 
hit the carrier's API that are on your license and pull back in your negotiated rates that are applicable. Uh, here you can see if you set the filters off to the right to all, you can see all the available services and carriers, and then you can also store it lowest to highest just to kind of get an idea where R&L in the situation would uh, fare. Uh, you'll notice they're kind of second in line behind UPS ground. Um, but again, you can pick and choose whichever carrier option you uh, feel most uh, uh, deserving of this particular shipment. Uh, but again, if you want to leave it R&L, uh, you can do so uh, as well. Uh, if you want to change carriers, you can simply check one of these boxes next to the carrier themselves, and that would automatically flip it to the right account number designated to that uh, carrier account. So to get uh, the bill of lading, all we can do is hit ship and process. F3 would also do the same function. Um, and now basically what you'll do is now communicate off to R&L that there's a pallet of 185 pounds, uh, and then you'll generate the bill of lading for um, R&L. So we also have a packing list that uh, Starship does provide. Uh, this is basically out of the box. If you want this customized, we also gave that capability uh, to do that as well with company logos and other any information that you might feel uh, your customer may need to see. Uh, but this is just a generic looking packing list that would accompany the pallet. Um, we support um, two variations of the bill of lading, the VIX and the straight uh, bill of lading. This is our document that Starship can generate. Uh, uh, and then basically you can see here we list a carrier uh, that was selected, uh, the pro number that was returned by that carrier, uh, not all carriers that we support do return pro numbers, so that's something to keep in mind and, and, and ask uh, if you are interested. Uh, but then we also bring in all the constant information along with the uh, commodities, NMFC, class, and weights. Uh, we also support in certain situations the carrier BOL, which basically has all the same information that um, I just mentioned uh, there on our uh, variation of BOL as well. And as I come back into Fishbowl, um, and in real time, what we can do is after we refresh this order, you'll notice um, that we have basically our um, pro number here, if I get on the right order. Um, so when I bring in this uh, order here, 68, um, you'll notice that the carton one has the pro number and carton two, as well as carton three have the same pro number. It is one pro number for the entire shipment. Uh, and then if you, basically click on cart in one, you'll notice we also put the pro number down below along with its appropriate weight for it and then the cost uh, associated for the entire shipment will show up on cart in one uh, only. So that concludes the demonstration of how LTL can be streamlined with Fishbowl um, and we also do support various email notifications uh, that we provide through our e-notify tool so at this time, we would send out the email notification to your customer telling them that be on the lookout for r and in this situation, along with the pro number, and then any other relevant information that you want to personalize on that email. And then one last tool that will come with your license is our dashboard access, which has high-level reporting, uh, analytical tools, heat maps, et cetera, uh, that just gives the overall uh, management team kind of an overview of what's happening on the uh, in the operation, and then maybe any changes that may need to be made as well uh, to try to optimize the total transportation savings. So I appreciate taking some time this uh, afternoon to uh, listen in, and we hope to see you on a future demo in the near future. Take care.